Pleasure to see you again, Mr. Right. President. To see you. Yes, thank you. Thank you for being here. Oh, it's nice to be here. Mr. President? <laughs> Welcome to the White House. My life has been full of rich and wonderful experiences in Knut Rockne. So I want you to know the INF Treaty and George Bush's election were important. But having the Fighting Irish win the national championship is in a class by itself. In a little respect for the other fellow's point of view, it means a real application of the golden rule. Well, you young fellows here today are living proof of the truth of Knut Lack's spirit in his ball players. Once when he was working with the four backfield stars who became known as the four horsemen, one of them Just like the Fighting Irish, they're a talented, well-coached team and they deserve a salute. Their records should make them proud. Speaking of pride, I noticed that Coach Holtz thought he might be thinking to himself that 
maybe you want another one for the giver. <laughs> Congratulations. Mr. Rockney stand commemoration. We thought it would be fitting on this time in which you have honored the university and its winning football team to make a small presentation to you. Since I'm a little few of our seniors and leaders this year, to bring over a particular plaque that I'd like to read the inscription for. This is Frank Stans of West Bridget. Mr. President, who's going to win the Super Bowl? The Super Bowl. Who's going to win it? I'm supposed to be neutral. San Francisco could come to mind. 